Joe, obviously we are going to be talking about uh, Newcastle <laughs> United, the takeover. The very latest, it's up, it's down, it's happening, it's not. Um, just uh, We'll go into, into the details of it a bit later on. Warren Barton's joining us as well in the next part of the show. And, of course, you, Newcastle fans or football fans, can have your say on National Radio simply by picking up the phone and dialing in 08717 uh, What's your take on it all? You you would be excited if you were a Newcastle fan, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, this is what New- Newcastle have always wanted owner, an owner that cares and would invest money. And they want to see attractive football. Now, if these owners come in and they get it over the line and they take over with this bottomless pit of money then that is really exciting for the league because mm. we've seen Manchester City, what happens when they got the money. I know, it, I think it took them four years to win the league. Chelsea did it in two when Abramovich came in. You've got all these clubs that have got these... Is that all it took Chelsea to win it in two I think years? It was, I think it was two years. Is that what it was? Yeah, three. I'm being shown... Well, hold on, Joe, our producer in the question, he's doing like yeah, three, two, one in front of me, like I, Ted Rogers. I know it was quick. Two. They did, they the they turnaround was very, very quickly. But they had a good team. Yeah, there's levels. Like, like I, I wouldn't expect Newcastle... No, sorry, what I mean is, sorry, Benty, I mean they had a good team when he got there. Who? Chelsea, when yeah, Abramovich yeah, arrived. Yeah. But he took them to the next level in terms of where they went shopping. Yeah, but and Newcastle are, are some way off. That's a, yes. that's a big build they've so got it's there. Level, I think it's levels. Like, First of all, if they're going to go and sign superstars, there's a, a calibre of player that you're going to be able to get and you're going to have to get like a, like a mercenary. I don't really call them that, but you've got to go and sign a player that's willing to take the money, but that's got no real ambition in terms of the Champions League unless they really believe in the vision and the project. So I think there's levels. There. But that's how you do it, isn't it? Like, so for Roman's sake, if Newcastle have this takeover, right, mm. and they've, their owners have got about 300 billion, yeah. I think it's yeah, something but I don't ridiculous. M- um, no. Mbappe to walk through the door first. No, not yet, but uh, uh, what will be the plan for the first season? Like a, an eighth finish and then build from there? It would depend who they get in because obviously we've got financial fair play as well. But as I said, I don't expect all of a sudden, unless it's, it's easy to get excited, but I don't expect Mbappe to be coming through the door and then, I don't know, Hazard because he's having a tough time at Real Madrid. I don't expect... Do you, not, you don't expect to see that happening? Not straight away. I think there's levels. I mean, Manchester City, they went bang, didn't they, straight away? Robinho, yeah. phew, straight away, 30 yeah. million. I can't see that happening with Newcastle. I think they'll have to be levels. But listen, the calibre of player they, they can get will be a okay. far superior. L- let me ask got. you this question, right? And I'm, I'm not being rude, but there's a reason I'm asking it. Does You're it make a rude. difference? It's, no, I'm not. It's Newcastle, because, of course, it's it's quite cold up there. It's near no. Scotland. And I'm asking you because you went to Sunderland, yeah, right? Yeah, I went to Sunderland. Unbelievable place to live. Really enjoy no, my time. I don't dispute that. But I, the reason I said it is if you've got big name players that come into the Premier League, yeah. it, you sort of feel it's London, then it's Manchester. You're yeah, slowly I, I going that, up. But listen, listen, I know players that wouldn't like, only want to play in London, regardless of the, the league that these teams are in. If they got relegated, they want to stay in London. Mm-hmm. But when you're talking about a place like Newcastle, the people up there are friendly. It's all about football. The stadium is one of the best in this country. It's a big club. It's the start of something exciting. And as I said, there are there are airports in Newcastle straight to London. There is a train straight to London, so mm. it's not like you can't get there. So for me, I don't think that'll play. So you any think part. they can attract anyone? Anybody, but it, there's levels, of course. Like right now, they're not going to be. They're not in the Champions League. No. So there are levels, but eventually, if it progresses, like say the Manchester Cities and the Chelseas, then it is really exciting. Okay, we're going to take calls uh, first out and second hour from Newcastle fans and football fans on the back of it. Of course, we are. So if you've got something to say about your club or Newcastle, if they're not oh eight seven one seven double two double three double four, you're listening to Drive On Talk Sport with me, Andy Goldstein, and Darren Bent with WeBuyAnyCar.com. Get a free online quote in under sixty seconds. Enter your reg number now. 